Hey guys, Tegan here from BlueSense Digital. How do you set up a promotions feed on Google Shopping listings? If we dive into this for a second, just to show you what this looks like in the first place. So in the shopping network, this little promotion up here that says sale, or let's say free shipping over $500, or you know $20 or first purchase or something like that. All of those promotions are obviously Google Shopping promotions and they are set up through the Google Merchant Center. So I'm gonna go through how to set this up in this video. So first step, head on over to the Merchant Center, go to Marketing, and then go to Promotions. From here, we'll need to go through the setup process for this specific promotion. Now, I'm just going to go through this as an example. This isn't a promotion that I'm looking to run for this specific brand, but I just wanna show you the process of how this is set up. So first step, obviously hit the big blue plus icon, new promotion, whatever country you're gonna run this promotion in. Australia, for example, select your language, obviously English. And then for this example, we are just going to do shopping ads and free listings. You can do local inventory ads as well if you want. But generally speaking, it'll just be shopping ads and free listings. Now, obviously, you've got your four ex or your four templates down over here. So you can either have a monetary discount. So let's say $20 off first purchase or $20 off using code 20 off. Um, obviously pretty self-explanatory, percentage off, again, same concept as this, just a percent off, 20% off your first purchase, 20% off using this code, etc. Free gift, again, pretty self-explanatory, spend over $200, get a free gift, free shipping, again, self-explanatory, free shipping over $500 using code 500 off or whatever. So again, those are your options. Unfortunately, that is all we have to work with um, in terms of shopping promotions or shopping promotion feeds. So you'll have to choose whichever one um, aligns with your promotion the best. So for, for this example, I'm just gonna go for, let's just do percentage off. So once you click percentage off, obviously you'll get another three options to choose from. So first step here again, obviously this is all quite self-explanatory, but um, percent off offer percent discount. So 20% off sale, uh, you know, 20% off Black Friday, 20% off Easter sale, whatever. Um, second card, buy a quantity of products, get a percentage off. Buy two, get the third one at 50% off, etc. cetera. Um, third card over here, buy a quantity of products um, and then get the same item at a percent off. So let's say buy two shirts, get the third one at 50% off. So again, pretty self-explanatory. For this example, I'm just gonna go with the generic percent off because I feel this would, sorry, because I feel this would be applicable to most people. So discount percentage, whatever that is, I'll just use 20% in this example. Minimum purchase amount, let's say, obviously that's optional, but let's say, okay, let's say we were setting up an Easter sale. So 20% off, um, then hit continue. Then we're gonna need to give this a title. Now, in terms of promotion feed disapproval, this is the most likely area that these promotions feeds will be disapproved. So essentially the title needs to be a summary of your entire promotion. So for example, if you had a promotion that was free shipping over $200, your title would have to say free shipping over $200. You can't just have free shipping because that, that will get disapproved. There are unusually uh, or Google is unusually particular about uh, specifically the the promotion type or the, the Google Shopping promotion title. So in this example, we go 20% off Easter sale. So that that should be good for, for what we're doing. Promotion ID, this can, you can set this to anything. This is essentially just an ID to give you an idea of, for example, if a purchase comes through, where that purchase came from in terms of promotions that you have running in the Merchant Center. Um, honestly, I don't see this very useful at all, but you have to fill this in anyway. So for this example, I'm just gonna call this, let's say 20 Easter sale, so ES. So that should be good. Um, then from here, we'll need to select which products this applies to. So in this case, obviously this would apply to all of my products because it's a store-wide um, Easter sale. But if it's only a certain, sec uh, sorry, a certain uh, category of products, 
you'll have to filter these out using let's say item ID, product type, um, the brand, whatever. For this example, again, this promotion applies to all of my products. If you have a promo code that you wanna use, you can put that in here. Um, in this case, the promo code is optional, but for free shipping, for example, in order to have that free shipping over $500 or whatever, you have to have a promo code that you can add into the Merchant Center to have that reflected on your shopping listings without it being disapproved. So in this example here, um, let's just say we were using a promo code um, and that was, let's say, 20 Easter. So that was our promo code there. Then from here, we can obviously select, okay, we can close that um, or minimize that. Now we need to select the start and end dates of this promotion. So let's say we were just running it for the week of Easter, which I believe is somewhere around here. Um, so let's just say, for example, it was from the 24th to the 31st, and then just hit apply. And then obviously you can choose your, your start and end time as well if need be. And then that's that. From there, hit create promotion. Again, I'm not gonna do this in this example because this is not applicable for this client. But once you hit create promotion, it'll take you all the way back to that initial or that first page over here. Um, just be sure to select the or you know change this Sometimes it, it does kind of glitch out and you won't see your promotion here for a while. So just keep refreshing. Um, I don't know why it, it sometimes takes, you know, 10, 15 minutes for this to appear in the promotion section, um, but just change that to all or whatever. And you should see your promotion appearing here and you'll see whether that's been um, approved or disapproved down under the status column on the far right. So that was it. Hopefully that was a help. Like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.